Hello guys, welcome back to the topic on deploying a Python script in the AWS EC2 instance. In the previous video, we have completed the first three steps. That is, we have created a new EC2 instance and then uh, we created a private key using PuttyGen followed by we have connected to our EC2 instance using Putty. Let us do some activities uh, in the EC2 instance which we have created. In order to work with this EC2 instance, you should know some basic uh, Linux commands so that it will be helpful for you to work around. First, if you wanted to understand which user is currently into just give who am I and it will give you the EC2 user as the username. And also the command PWD, it helps to understand the current working directory that is the present working directory of your uh, instance. Okay, so it clearly says like home and EC2 user. Okay, so this is where I wanted to do activities. Okay, let us now try to understand what are the default versions of Python which is installed in this. So with respect to Python 2, it is 2.7.18 and when you wanted to know about Python 3, just give Python 3 and then version. Okay, so Python 3.7.16 is the version which is available in this uh, EC2 instance, but you may be required to install the latest version of Python. So let us see how to install the new version of Python and work with it. Okay, first let us download all the dependencies of Python. I'll share you these comments in the description so that you can make use of it. Let's wait until the command is successfully executed. So now you can see like the command is executed successfully and give, it gives a complete message. Next, just run this command. So this is also completed. Okay, so let us now try to check if we have the wget command which is required to extract our uh, version of Python which is essential. If it is already installed and uh, it will show you a message like nothing to do. So here, if you see here, this EC2 instance has already contained the wget command. So it says nothing to do which is, and it is already installed with the latest version. Okay. So now we can use the wget command to, to download the latest version of Python. Just use this command. So when you are executing this, just make sure like what is the latest version and install the version. So I'm using the wget command and giving the path from where it has to download the Python 3.9.16. Okay, you can see like it has successfully downloaded. Let us now try to see if the file exists. Yeah, you can see here Python 3.16 TGZ is existing. Okay, so using the tar xvf command we can extract. Okay. So let us now view what are the different folders, uh, what are the different things which is available. So this is a zipped file and this is the Python directory. Just move to this directory. What are the different uh, files and the folders it contains? Okay, so it has successfully extracted the zip file. Okay, once all the dependencies are downloaded and the extract file is also downloaded, let us install Python. So now you are inside the directory which you have extracted. Okay. And then just run this command inside this path. Okay. So once all this configurations and the settings is completed, just give sudo make alt install. Okay. To install the Python 3.9.16. Wait until your installation is completed. So this step will take around three to four minutes and wait until everything is installed successfully. Now you can check the Python version by giving Python 3.3 and hyphen hyphen version. It gives you like Python 3.9.16. We have successfully completed the first four steps. We have created a new EC2 instance and uh, created a private key using PuttyGen. As the third step, we connected to the EC2 instance using Putty on Windows. In the third step, we also saw how to connect to our EC2 instance using Putty in Windows uh, operating systems. Once we have connected to the EC2 instance, we have installed the latest Python version in our instance. Okay. Let us now create a simple um, Python script in this instance. Okay. To create a new file, I'm just giving vi demo.py. 
py okay and in order to start editing your file just click on i which is nothing but makes your file to the insert mode so here we are not going to do any complex things just we are printing a command like hello world welcome to creating python in uh, ec2 instance okay in order to save this just click on escape and then give the colon symbol followed by w q and then the exclamation mark we need to save uh, this file with whatever the commands we have given followed by exiting the file right so w is for saving the file and q exclamatory marks makes you to exit the file just click on enter so now in order to view directly what is there inside the file just give cat demo dot py okay so you can see like print hello world welcome to creating python in ec2 instance okay let us now run this file just give python 3 point nine followed by demo dot py this is the file name you can see like the hello world welcome to creating python in ec2 instances displayed successfully okay in the next video i'll show you how to upload the python script from your local device into the ec2 instance okay as a last step don't forget to change the state of this particular instance to either stop if you're coming back to the same instance or terminate it if you are no longer going to use this instance okay so for now i'm just giving on stop instance so that we will come back in the next video on how to load our uh, python script from the local directory into the ec2 instance okay thanks for watching this video have a nice day